I think for a lot of people that are, uh, like sport in general, if you were to claim that you're a Wimbledon champion, would be one of the most ultimate Spinnacle. things you could ever, ever win. Up there with Olympic gold medalists. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we've got one in our fair stay, and that's yes. Matty Ebden, who Matt. you know quite well. Matt, congratulations. congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, so good. It's like being a resident of Wimbledon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's been a crazy couple of weeks. Um, yeah, I've said in some media before, they've asked me, I said, I, I don't even know if I dreamed as a kid of winning Wimbledon. Yeah. You know, like a lot of people say that, but I, I, never, I don't think I ever dreamed of winning Wimbledon. It was just, uh, you know, I wanted to be a professional tennis player, get to the top 10. But yeah, yeah, winning Wimbledon, it wasn't probably till I was an adult that I sort of grasped the fact that I, you know, I was good enough and started believing I could do it and this and that. But it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's more than a dream come true, definitely. Oh, and, that's, uh, and you uh, nearly did it twice, too, just quietly, because yeah. you got it very yeah. close in the mix as well. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah, with Sam Stoza in the mix, we got to the final, and that was actually the first time I'd played on centre court, um, <laughs> and the first time on Wimbledon final, of course. I'd, I'd never been to the final in Wimbledon and never even played on centre court there. So, uh, you know, as a tennis player itself, even just being able to say you've played a match on centre court is quite something that people really value and cherish, and to get to play the final there. Unfortunately, that one didn't go our way. We lost that one, but then to have another chance a couple of days later and then the doubles final and for that one to go our way, it's, um, yeah, it's a moment I'll never yeah. forget. It's crazy. Solid campaign. Yeah. I remember the first yeah. time you came into our studio. It was mm. many years yeah. ago. Yeah. You bro- what, yeah. what was the trophy you bought in? It was, and, and we had to wear gloves to touch it. Pro- oh, no, it was probably just my local club champs or something. <laughs> 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 you might have been doing a tour for the Australian Open. Australian Open, yeah. I think. Uh, and yeah, you okay. Me so, for yeah, that. so there you go. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't my trophy, was it? No, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was like, and, 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 and it was all about, you know, what this guy could do. Yeah. And, like, yeah. And, and, yeah. and you've gone and done that, and we're sitting in the same seat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's Yeah, it's weird. It's a, it's a weird journey. I've been fortunate in my career, or, or so I thought, to have had you know, many great achievements and, and uh, realise a lot of my career goals. You know, Davis Cup winning a slam at Australian yeah. Open yeah. and getting to you know close to the top in the singles rankings and winning doubles titles and having all these great experiences, you know, playing Federer and Nadal and Rod Laver Arena and this and that and sort of I sit here now at 34 and then to get to my first Wimbledon finals and then and win one, yeah, it's, I mean, you know, all our four Grand Slams are, are technically equal and yeah. being an Aussie, my, my favourite two tournaments are Aussie Open and Wimbledon, just, you know, obviously Wimbledon's a, it's a, it's a mecca, it's a pinnacle of yeah. world sport. Um, so, but yeah, to, to play on centre court at Wimbledon and, and win, it's, yeah, it's, it's a really weird experience. Um, I don't know, there's, yeah, there's magic, there's auras out there, it's weird. You sort of feel like you're you're not in control at all and you're just sort of hanging on the side of sort of fate or destiny oh. waiting for it to play out to yeah. see if you're on the good or bad side of it, really. It's it's, it's really weird. Well, the one it's thing, um, you know, Max uh, Purcell being your partner was absolutely outstanding, saving a couple of match yeah. points in that game. But, uh, yeah. but, uh, but uh, So you get to the end of the match and you're victorious and then yeah. a part of the dream is that... Royals come down and they're part and of the... And present you the trophy oh, and everything. Oh, little yeah. Prince George yeah. which, boiling which, hot in his suit. <laughs> which Royals did you get? Well, so Kate Middleton was there on that day and she was she was watching the first set or two of our match. But oh. She'd obviously been there since, you know, 12, 12 o'clock. They'd had the women's singles final, so yes. they were all there before that. They did their lunch and they yep. had the women's singles final. She does that and then she's meant to sort of stay and probably watch our match and do that, but... You know, we took a four and a half hours after that. Yeah, so you she bloody went five like, sets, didn't you? Exactly. She <laughs> was there you. for nine hours. So I, <laughs> she didn't last the whole match and, you know, not many people did or would have, so no, fair enough. But, yeah, it, it was cool. I mean, yeah, she, Kate Milton was there, Tom Cruise was there and, you know, all yeah. the Royals isn't and that boxes amazing? and all that. that. So, it's a yeah, spin out, isn't it? Pretty, pretty cool. so, do, you, yeah. do you clock them when you're on court? Like, do you, like, know straight away, oh, there's Tom Cruise? Like, or is it just a wash? Uh, I saw I saw Kate. I mean, she's sitting right yeah. at the back of the in middle the of the court yeah. in this yeah. shiny golden yellow yellow dress that yeah. you can't miss. <laughs> yes. so uh, and yeah Kim my wife she, she really liked Kate and she's a fan of Kate so I yeah, definitely sort of knew Kate was there but um, yeah by the time it came to the trophy cer- ceremony when it was whatever I don't know 9 o'clock at night it was 
so much had happened since then. I, you know, that I couldn't, I couldn't even think straight. Never mind, think about who was giving me the trophy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Maddie, I want to know um, preparation before a game, right? What do you, what yeah. does a tennis player eat before a big match? Because we know some sports, yeah. you know, someone yeah. will eat like a big plate of pasta or whatever. Yeah. But like, what, yeah. what, what do you eat? What happens? Um, that morning, I'm pretty sort of religious with what I eat. I, I, well, I wake up, I always have, you know, eggs on toast and I think that's it. I had some avocado as well. Coffee, so po- poached or juice, scrambled? Po- or fried? Uh, just fried was fried. the easiest. Yeah, Kim actually just whipped them up for me in the house. So that was just quick and easy. Yes. And then, but then I go and, you know, go to tennis, warm up. Uh, shout out to the Woodies that came on court warm yeah. well, Mark Woodford came and warmed up with us he's a left hander so we yeah. had to get some left handed serves at us yeah, yeah. good um, yeah so that was nice and then eat again after that warm up you know a couple of hours before the match for me it's uh, salmon and a lot of rice and just olive oil it's a bit boring but um, <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah the carbs, carbs it's fuel it's fuel carbs, bit of you, protein yeah, yeah and then the just olive oil crashed. not even sauce so um, uh, would that yeah be the a lot worry, of hydration so have, yeah Hydration. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, um, massive, yeah. once the game's over, do you like smash 10 burgers or something? Or is it that sort of situation? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we didn't eat for quite a while after, but, you know, it's funny. We'd obviously been out there for four hours, I think, four hours, 11 minutes, and, you know, pretty long, pretty mm. physical and, and draining and, you know, emotional energy, everything. But um, yeah, I finished the match and I felt like I'd just woken up in the morning fresh as a daisy, or for, you know, high on adrenaline and yeah. just, um, yeah, yeah. I just had endless energy and my body felt amazing. I felt like I just could fly. eating victory. It was really strange. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so you know they gave us. Yeah. yeah, so in the in the locker room, Max and I smashed a beer. They had beers for us. They yeah. had champagne and yeah. and then the sort of chefs came and asked for all our crew to come and sell their what do we want. So they just sent us a whole bunch of pizzas. So they, they brought oh, us okay. all yeah, nice. boxes and boxes of pizzas. We had pizza and then we had to go around and do all the media runs. You know, yeah. I think we jumped on for the project and Today Show and yeah. this and yeah. that and yeah. blah 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 and press conference and. Back for more pizza and champagne, and and then we finally got out of there. And then we had to do drug doping. You know, you got to go do a drug test. Oh, yeah, stuff. came back a hundred percent pizza. A hundred percent alcohol. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's too then uh, yes, yeah, so it got to like midnight, and yeah. there was sort of time. You know, everyone sort of yeah. leaving left, and Max and them were like, "Okay, let's go." And we're going up to the Dog and Fox, so, you know, pub up in the Wimbledon Village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we actually, we I mean, we had our baby with us. He'd been at the crash and. <laughs> And he was awake. Harvey, and was baby Harvey. Night, but yeah. we had his pram, and so we didn't want to put him in the car. So he'd wake him up. So and it's about three k's up to the town. So yeah. we thought, you know what, we're just going to walk him. So so we took <laughs> off and we walked Harvey in his pram to the Wimbledon Village, and he just slept basically on the pavement outside the pub while we sort of partied and celebrated with everyone. <laughs> that's, get that's away with it when you're a Wimbledon champion. Can, yeah, that's a strange yeah, there's videos of it on my Instagram, and we, yeah, we made yeah. sure we got a got a document of it for Harvey. One day we'll that's show him. Pretty funny. Oh, yeah, that's, that's great. So that's great. great. You you mentioned one thing before, and that was um, the Woodies, and, yeah. and they're Australian folklore, really. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So oh. so they won that many titles as um, doubles champions. Yeah. Do you see t- yourself going yeah. on from here, and this is what you wanted to be able to? You know, continue I mean, doing. The name's not as catchy. Ebden and Purcell <laughs> sound like a legal firm, but yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. They, they call us the M and M's these days, so okay. there's a little yeah, bit of yeah. something going yeah, on. I love but that. Um, well, first of all, yeah. I mean, that's also why I'm still in a bit of disbelief. It's to be, you know, Wimbledon, the history, the the pinnacle, the every, every champion that's gone before in the globally, but even the Aussies winning at Wimbledon, our, our heritage in, in that yeah. history is. Since you know, hundred years mm. ago, we've had champions all the time, and just to be a teeny tiny little part of that history and puzzle now, it's it's yeah, it's mind blowing for for me. Um, yeah, the Woodies. I've been fortunate to have both Mark and Todd be my coaches at, at some points in my career and mm. sort of mentors to me. So definitely learn a heck of a lot from them, and to, to have them there on that final day was special. Um, Todd, yeah, Todd's nickname is nine times. He's won Wimbledon nine times in the in doubles and mixed doubles. So. I heard yours uh, is nine yeah. inches, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <from> Max, or? <laughs> yeah. Matt, did I hear a rumour that you made a bet with Max that you're going to grow yeah. a mullet? Yeah, far out. So, what were yeah. you thinking? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, okay, so... I mean, obviously Max got the mullet and back yeah. in the, even of, of the Open, you know, yes. the mullet, whatever, and... I think after all that final, you know, there was obviously a lot of media. And we got to the final, we didn't win, but it yeah. still was a lot of media with Nick and Canarsia. All, all Aussie whatever. final, yeah. Um, so I was back here a couple of weeks after Aussie, and I think I was even, I was in quarantine for a week before my baby was born. That's and, right. And, uh, yeah, I, was, I had 
endless time to read stuff and do media and everything. And there was a, I think an article came out on GQ that had, um, you know, the best Aussie mullets of the summer or, or mm, you know, yep. the like recent times or current, whatever. And so I was sort of thinking, oh, well, you know, we just made the final of Aussie Open. Max got this big mullet. He's probably going to be in this list <coughs> or something. So anyway, I went through it and he, he was nowhere to be found on the list, obviously. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, we, we're just nobodies. But, you know, so we saw some, I don't know, some footy players and some, some whatever else. And I sort of sent to Max and said, look at this, whatever. So, you know, the, the mullet was quite a thing for him. And a couple of months later, we were at the French Open, maybe practicing and right. in like maybe April, <laughs> May, or whatever. And I think Max put a picture of us practicing with some Aussies, and, and then I sort of reposted his picture and put a poll on my Instagram and said, you know, should I think he said should grow, Matt grow a mullet? I reposted it, put a vote, and uh, you know, I don't know, hundreds of people said no, hundreds of people said yes, grow a mullet. I said no, my <laughs> wife definitely said no, <laughs> Max said yes. Um, so we were left with this sort of thing and it was a bit funny and whatever and heaps of people were going, yeah, do it, do it. Some people were going, oh my God, no, don't do it. Anyway, so it was sort of funny and Max was like, yeah, come on, girl, you got to grow my I was like, no chance. But then I was just, you know, Max, he's, he's quite a bit younger than me, he's 24. So I said to him, I was like, I'm just going to put this out there, I'll just throw it out there. So yeah. I, was like, I was like, you know what, mate, I was like, if we win Wimbledon, I'll grow a mullet for you to Aussie Open. Oh, and yes, sorry. Yeah, I think his girlfriend was there. She she heard, and we told Kim. I said to Max, I was like, look, I mean, I said to Max, look, if we win Wimbledon, I'll freaking do whatever he wants. I'll do cartwheels down the street, <laughs> like, you know what, yeah. whatever. So yeah. we did that, and and he'd actually forgotten about it. But yeah, it's quite funny. So the night before the final, sitting there with Kim, my wife, at, at the house, and just thinking about the next day, and and I said, oh, and. Yeah, I was like, you know, maybe confident or expecting that, you know, we could maybe win this final. I said to her the night before, I was like, do you remember that? Like, you know, if we win tomorrow, like, that's it. There's only one more match here. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to grow oh, this my, mullet. My and she goes, nah. She goes, don't tell Max. She goes, don't remind <laughs> don't him. Max. He won't remember. Yeah, she, yeah, she goes, don't remind him. He won't remember. And and so the next day we spoke about it and he didn't remember for the life of him. <gasps> oh, and, um, but it's and out I was there like, now. What? You don't remember? Yeah, well, I mean, it's on the Instagram archive, yeah. like on the story, so you to. can check, you know what I mean? And then he goes, oh, yeah, the Instagram poll or whatever. And I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, no, you're growing a mullet so, now. I so know. from now until yeah, the Aussie so, uh, Open, it's happening, Yeah, Matt. yeah, yeah, it is. So, but I mean, my hair's already a bit long. Then. Yeah, well, no, okay. I'm just I don't know, saying, yeah, six I, months. Yeah, six months I, I'm just saying, okay. if yeah. Kim really loves you, she should grow one too. <laughs> 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 Maybe ones. with an undercut? Yeah, oh, yeah an undercut. now you're joking. Oh, no. Nice. All right. Oh, Matt, Wait, look, me. we're so proud of you. Congratulations. Uh, Wimbledon champion. Not many people well get done, to buddy. put that Thanks. after Thank their you name. Guys. You can. Well no, done. I appreciate it. Thanks for Thank talking to, to us, you, buddy. Man. Bye, bud. All right. Have fun. See you guys. Nathan, Matt, and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.